Good morning. In this video, I deal with very briefly the issue of um, Robert Baker's recent video that he put up there, advocating a tribute, a works, faith works for uh, salvation and tribulation. Uh, this one, I'm just going to deal uh, with his initial statement, where he begins off by saying he proved something. He proved nothing, and it works salvation. Now, remember, they're saying it works under the law. His big argument is, well, the Old Testament saints went to a different place. Well. The fact is, is that uh, so the, all the Old Testament saints were saved before the law, who were saved by faith, not by works, because of this pointing out the law, still went to Abraham's bosom. The fact that they went to Abraham's bosom, and not straight to heaven, had nothing to do with a faith, faith work system. So let's so show here. And this is how these guys operate. They just go on merrily along, ignoring every, everything you say to them. But the fact is, the book of Romans, and Romans 4, talks about, it gives you an uh, example of Abraham. So they say things that just aren't biblical. Get, uh, faith of Abraham, faith of Abraham, which by faith alone, it's an example of, of faith, uh, faith alone, no works, and then David. Uh, verse 4, uh, Romans 4, 5. Uh, let's go 4-4. Four, four. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Get that. Get that. This is why it can never be a faith work system. But now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Everything has to come from faith. That has to be the basis of it. That's why you have Hebrews 11. If, if it's works, then it's of debt. Now what these people want you to believe is that God will be put in debt. God would owe someone salvation. But to him that worketh not, but to him that walketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. That's the about Abraham. Uh, then verse 6, under the law, even as David also describeth the blessings of the man unto whom God imputeth, um, unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven. The Old Testament sins were forgiven. But they who are permanently forgiven, they haven't been paid for yet at the cross, and whose sins are covered. That's not, that's not New Testament, because the sins are covered. Our sins are never covered. They've, they've been removed. But for them, they were covered. That's what they constantly had to do with Old Testament sacrifices. Just because they're doing things in a different way doesn't mean it's a work system. It all came from faith. So they had a ritual system set up, but it was not, it's not, that's not what saved them. It was their faith that saved them. Blessed is the man to whom God will not impute sin. So what they want to do is ignore they, the argument about uh, uh, David. Is he's prophesizing. No, I said covered. Old Testament sins were covered. So then they make a big deal about Abraham's bosom. They say, well, see, they went to a different place. We know there are things different in the Old Testament. But that doesn't mean that faith was not always the issue. Faith was always the issue. It can only be the only, only issue for the simple fact that God will not be put in man's debt. That's what works do. Works put, man, put God in man's debt. And God is not going to put, in, put in, any man's, uh, in any man's debt. This all came about because, again, I told you last time, is that these people were, uh, had this bizarre view that if you teach salvation by faith, without works and eternal security in every dispensation, people in the tribulation will look at our dispensation and say, oh wow, we, we can now we can take the mark of the beast. This is this is their this is their warped thinking. But he claims they prove something. They didn't prove nothing. Watch the videos and say, just because they're doing something that's not work, where's it coming from? You see Hebrews eleven, the source is faith. The source is faith. When those guys cut the hole in the ceiling and was letting the, letting the power plebe, plebe, uh down from the roof in Mark. The Lord, uh, the uh, scriptures say, the Lord saw their faith. So the, uh, these guys start off with the idea that God will somehow accept a, a, a work and therefore owe man something. But when we see example of Abraham before the law and we see David adorned under the law. And both times it's always by faith without works. And likewise, it's going to be tribulation. I'll deal more with this video at a later date. Just want to show you that this guy thinks he's he's responded to something. He hasn't said he hasn't he hasn't said anything. They think this is what those guys do. They all think they uh, they they've answered something. 
and uh, they want to, they're want they arguing a straw man, like, like we think everything's exactly the same in the Old Testament. The fact that when Abraham's bosom, see, they always put under the law. See, that's their big thing, this 400-year period under the law. But the fact of the matter is, is that we are saved, uh, they were saved by faith before the law, and they were saved by faith under the law, different ways. And they went to Abraham's bosom for simple fact is that God had finished uh, the, the work of the cross. Christ had been on the cross, the finished work of the cross. So, so he has to go. He had to go to the cross first in order to present his blood in order for uh, in order to go down and go down there and clean out uh, Abraham's bosom. Amen. Thank you.